Hi, Martin McKenna, Dreadlock Dog Man. Today we've got a really brilliant show. We want to show you a family of people who cooperate, including a new pup that comes into the home. Darren, Shiloh, Jade and Pax. Pax is the newcomer and I want you to look and take in how easily and calmly Pax walks within his new pack. Shiloh is an eight-year-old girl and she has cerebral palsy. But hey, you're about to get blown away by the biggest smile you've ever seen. Her parents, Darren and Jade, absolute miracle workers. The, the love, the energy they give to that group of equals. Pax came in, seen all this beautiful, calm structure and fell right into it. And only ever wanted to do one thing and that is help Shiloh. You're going to see footage of Shiloh and Pax in the car and it's going to be a clear, clear signal of how he hurts Shiloh. Puppy? Is that your puppy? What's his name? Um. Pax? Normally I would say if Pax had his head on a child's lap in this manner that it was slightly dominating. But when you nuance it out, you see the real picture. He's earthing Shiloh. He knows that she's going to get a spark of energy coming in the car and that's why he's got his head on her lap to earth her out. And it really, really works. That means construct the situation. The clarity is. And you're doing excellent trying to start at the banjo and bring it to this banjo. Yeah. That might be a bit easier. Ready? Pull it, pull it, pull it to the middle. Hey, if I'm in control of the food, what else might be controlled? So it isn't no big, warm things. What about? Tiny little things on the edges. Okay. Oh, I just sit down beside him and just say. Oh, I was turning my back to him when I, when I sit down to him, hey. <laughs> we're going over to Chicago for a talk, and you were saying... Shall oh, I, what do you want to say? To uh, are you going to say something? Hi. Say hi. hi. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it, folks. Shiloh has shown us, right? I don't know if you've been observing Shiloh at the moment. She is the most relaxed, calm <laughs> young lady. And remember, I'm the one who's supposed to be teaching the calmness, and I'm going to have her on my head. And there's a young lady here, and she should be teaching me how to be calm. <laughs> every, every now and again, when the dog looks around, we're closing our eyes to it. And we're simply saying, yeah, we're having fun, and it's good, but it's nice and relaxed fun. Now, we often talk about what time does would, would Pax need to unload his own electricity? Because the electricity that gets put on him. Well, whenever I'd see Pax giving it all this of, oh, 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 mm, and giving it lots of that and shake, right? And maybe a little scratch. I'd be looking at Pax and I'd be saying, well, too much electricity has to go and dump it off. So I would let him wander away and be on his own for a little while. Yeah. And then I wouldn't, I wouldn't really notice him, you know? He's there, like. But he's not in that same sense. Yeah. 
And so he can feel comfortable being around us, getting away from a situation where he's taking in an awful lot of electricity, and he can go and lie down himself. So any time you hear a, a kind of a loudish yawn coming out of him, you know it's time right, that he needs a little break, and he needs to wander off somewhere on his own, lay down, put his head flat on the ground, and then he does this. And he's doing it in his sleep, right? Yeah, yeah. And we look at him and we go, what are you doing, dog? Yeah. We think, well, should we wake him up? Does he have nightmares? Yeah. And no, he doesn't. He's just making sense of what happened during the day. Okay. Like, after I go, right, mm -hmm. he's going to have severe dreams. He's going to go, who was that thing that came in our door? <laughs> yeah. Changed things around mm -hmm. a, a little and just left. And sometimes when you come to a place, and trainers should be aware of this and behaviourless, when you come to a place, please don't be afraid to pass the accolades on to the real people that are doing the work. Mm -hmm. um, fortunately, and, and, and unfortunately for me, um, I don't really have anything to do here today <laughs> except observe, right? which is a kind of a nice thing for me. But you yeah. help other people. Yes. Yeah. And, and then, because of the help that you're giving me and the things you're teaching me, most especially Shyla, because I'm watching her body language all the time, this gives me so much to work for in the future. Now he's going to have to smell my jacket. Mm -hmm. I left that jacket near a couple of my dogs yeah. last evening. Yeah. So I thought it'd be an interesting bit of a smell, you know? Mm -hmm. And she'd come up, he'd have a little sniff of it, mm -hmm. and I wanted to see if he'd chew it. Mm -hmm. This is another thing of who does he think he is and how high or low. Yeah. He obviously doesn't think he's anything other oh. than a companion. Mm. Okay. Um, you're very, very lucky. Mm -hmm. You've got a dog. Like, mm. look, he, look, I'm not, Darren, he switches himself off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, most times now, we would have to be, I'd have a sore jaw from yawning, and <laughs> stones my eyes from blinking, yeah. to try to tell him to switch off. But, then, before I say, before I think about it, he goes, walks around, he goes straight up on the couch. Like, a lot of people like say, you know, about the, about the couch thing, you know, um, we should give him off the couch right now. And I said, no way. I said, we are as malleable as water. We're as fluid as water. In this instance, he uses that as a switch off point. And that's really good for us. But sometimes, like, if I would just incidentally go and sit down there in front of him on the couch and pretend he's not there, and then I'd actually, excuse me a second. Yeah. Can I and what I would do, you see, is I'd say, oh, Shaila, do you remember that thing the other day when we were down at the shop? Yeah, I've ADHD, I can do it very fast. <laughs> and then I'd abstractly talk to someone else, you know, and go, oh, yeah, I was down at the shop, just, it was terrible, you know. He's trying to push me off a little bit, like, but uh, I just lean back. I can't see a dog there, mm -hmm. really. And then I go, oh my goodness, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, okay. I don't know what to do either. And so I turn my head away from him. Whenever Shylock doesn't want anything to do with him, I notice Shylock uses her head so beautifully. Yeah. And she communicates with it. And I think that at just a tiny little bit of teach right, I just say, hey, puppy's coming here and we don't want to uh, turn our heads away. I think she does it normally, don't you? She oh, just had enough, she just does like, like yeah. 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 it's an interesting thing. She's a little duchess, isn't she? Yeah, she is. She's like, I don't want that pay. Enough, yeah. of, enough like, of you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Teach, right? I just say, hey, puppy's coming here and we don't want to uh, turn our heads away. I think she does it normally, don't you? She's oh. had enough, she just does like, like yeah. 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 like, yeah. yeah. like, yeah. like, yeah. like, like, yeah. like, 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 like,
it's like the whole family are in tune to this one thing. And the one thing isn't so much accommodating Shiloh, it's accommodating everyone. And so I would ask people that you do pay attention to yourself and you do take care of yourself outside of that beautiful person you're caring for because you do need to recharge those batteries in that way. And he's there, Shiloh's drawing, <laughs> Jade is drawing, Darren's got this magnificent, sm magnificent <laughs> smile on his face. And you know sometimes when you say you can overcook the pot, um, I'm actually going to leave this at this because I want this to be seen as simple as you've seen it. Um, when we came in here, I expected confusion. I came into a room where I wanted to create confusion. It was just, it was too calm for me. <laughs> so then I'm running around putting things on me head and pillows because I just, I'm like a dog that can't take this amount of calmness. You know, I, I, I've ADHD very bad. Okay, and on closing, I just like to say to Darren, Jade, and Shiloh, thank you so much for sharing this with us. You have. You got it. That's it. That's all I can sorry. Sorry, that's all I can say. See you next week. I'm out. Puppy? Is that your puppy? What's his name?